Well, YouTube, hello. I am back once again with the long haul on the Seven Days Council version. Day 30. I've been waiting overnight, just uh. I've been waiting out the night here. Took out a couple zombies with a hunting rifle. Gotta be careful because I got a zombie bear over there. One over there, and there was like. There's three kind of the area I gotta be careful. But. Starting off with hopefully some good loot here. This should be a feral white. And. Yes, a feral white. I, I didn't catch him on footage for you, but uh, those who watched the last stream did get to see uh, me take out the feral. It's like, uh, I'll splash a picture up uh, in editing the episode for you guys, like uh, just so you have a have an idea of what what the ferals look like. Uh, but yeah, the and the 44 Magnum cylinders and the and the parts are all courtesy of a. Um, trying to think here. They're courtesy of of a 44 full well, courtesy of ferals on this version. They are very valuable loot, and I believe if I'm mistake if I'm not mistaken, the feral whites only spawn. In I know they only spawn in at nighttime, well, at hub cities as far as I'm aware. I've only ever seen them around here. But what I was saying is, like, I believe they only spawn in at nighttime. And if you're wondering about this little crater, this is uh, the result of the end of the last episode. If you saw it, like, uh, I tried taking out a cop and they wind up exploding. Let's try to sort out some loot. I'm wanting to raid this old uh, working stuff tools here. I was wanting to do it in the last episode, but kind of figured it would be a good idea just to get up in, on the roof of it for nighttime. I think we got a little bit of riffraff to clear out here. You know, we got Mikey and, and all of them, uh, you know, got the nurse. There's gonna be a lot of zombies. Well, typically a lot of zombies in, in here. There you go. And we'll just pop you real quick. There we, there we are. Oh. See, it's kind of like where's one zombie, and where one zombie pops up, there's another that will follow. Um, I need to find where my mini bike is at. That's if the zombies can give me a break. There, there you go, and... Alright, that should be the local. This is cleared out for now. But, yeah, and... One thing I will definitely do right now is... Throw that cylinder in with those parts. At least have a... Have a little bit of a... A decent, uh... Um, loot space here, so... I was thinking maybe I could put the magnum parts in with a with another one, but eh, it's no real big deal. We can at least clear out a little bit of spots in there with the with the um what am I trying to say? There we go. Hey you can see zombie bear. I'm not gonna get too close. He's one of the toughest enemies in the game. One of the biggest boys in the game, and and uh, let's just say they don't screw around. You can even reduce a little bit of space uh, by getting having a little bit of by uh, sorting that out. I I do regret uh, not bringing myself a a workbench here, but you know, you live and you learn. It's like, uh, especially if you're going on long trips and you know there's a bunch of towns with loot in this where you're going to Hub City. Not a bad loot, and not a bad idea to go uh, check your, or grab your workbench or have a spare workbench just for like these big trips. Because you can't just wrench them. Oh, uh, just wouldn't that working sis box. You know, hopefully, of all things I can find in here, that would be nice to have would be 
maybe some nail gun parts. Um, got a couple. I got a wrench out of the sink, and which is nice to see. Nice little quality. Got some murky water, and then we got a commercial toilet. And well, to, not really much in, else in here. Just scrap that down. We'll drop the turd. Usually I try to save those, but it's a little. It's a little bit of a um, balancing act with that. We'll even drop paper. I don't need it. Oops. I accidentally almost broke that. We'll just repair. We'll just repair that really quick. Sometimes I don't know the uh, strengths of this thing. Um, garden hoe. We don't need it. We'll take the. Uh, the scrap iron door might use it someday. Iron fire axe, we're well beyond that. Um, we'll just break through the back door here really quickly. Oh, we got the iron. Nice and easy to break through all that. What do you have for me? Calipers and a... And a brass radiator and some plastic. I, I'll take it for, for the forges, you know. Chainsaw parts? That's not bad. We don't find very many chainsaw parts hanging out. Um, iron shovel. That's just worth it to me, an iron. And... Oh, actually, that is... I will take the... I will actually take those repair kits, and uh, once my crafting queue actually gets cleared up, I can actually repair the SMG. A tool and die set. Not bad. Not bad at all. And you know, headlight and all that. Not much in the last one there, but let's just check out to see what's in this uh, dust safe. As you can see, doing 310 damage per swing, which is excellent to see. Really allowing me to curve through these uh, really quick. We'll see what's in here. AK-47 schematic and a piece and some pieces of paper. Ha. Ah. I'm I'm just gonna leave that in there. It's not I'm like I don't even really need that. I'm really stacking up all these jars. Oh, hello Al hello Drago. Welcome back. Um Yeah, not much in not much in the old uh the Well, there's some good loot in the in there and it's good to see, so we gotta scout out some more looting sessions, some more uh, looting spots. Because I do, if I can't take most of my junk with, um, if I can't take most of the uh, stuff home with me, I at least want to have something. Oh, spider zombie. Oh yeah, I only ever really see uh, um, hornets hanging out. Whoops, accidentally running over a zombie. Hornets also spawned in here. Kind of like, I don't even ever really see them uh, spawning in uh, in the um, in the hub cities. There's uh, there's another hornet. We got a bank. Let's actually check around the bank here really quick. Am I gone funeral home? Um, I was a little unusual to find that in a big city like this. Um, we got a cop, we got, we got a passing gas here. Um, well, you know, I do want to take out the cop for you, see if I can actually take care of him. Oh, just gotta, I try to stay away from the big old... Uh, well, the cars around here, because, like, cops and their spit, they will blow up with cars easy. They kind of turn into a hazard. Hey, Lloyd, did you look at that? Level 102. Nice to see. Uh, zombies are kind of leaving me alone for the time being. Let's unload into them. Uh, I'm going to do a little reload here, just to... I like to try to soften them up a little bit. There we go. We took a cop down. Let's see what kind of loot we got him. See, this is what I was trying to say in the last episode by um, by 
cops having great loot. They have they have a really good loot for um they have excellent loot for their you know for if you can kill them fast enough. If you can if you can take them down now get them get them down fast enough, you can you can you can be rewarded handsomely with loot. In the in the last episode though um he uh he uh in a a uh a bunch of his zombies and um yeah it's a they can like in the last episode they only dropped me a sham sandwich um but yeah give me a, a little bit YouTube and I'll be back with you in just a moment. Well, YouTube, after taking a quick little look, I had a little bit of stream issues, like, I had to cut it off for a second, but, um, I wanted to take a look at the second working stuff tools. I know it's a, you know, we just raided one, but it's like, yo, I consider this to be the, the mother load of of looting for, you know, for, um, seven days. And, um, oh, we got a, oh, we got a dog here. Gotta take care of him really quickly. There we go. And, well, we gotta have a, might as well just kind of clear out the rip raft here a little bit. But like I was saying, this is this is the I consider the, the hub city to be the the mother load of looting. Um, let me just I'll actually use those repair kits towards uh, my SMG because I want to keep the damage going on it. Let's just have a little look see see what we got. Gardening hoe, there we go. Up, we got another crossbow schematic, which is nice to see. Extra point in weapon smithing, and uh, well, let small engine, and we got another. We got a, a calipers going. We got more company. We just gotta take care of it really quick. And so yeah, Drago's telling me right now that. Uh, when he breaks through these, he he typically goes through the back of the working stiff and like the shotgun messiah. Calls them loading doors, which makes a lot of sense. Um break into this one here really quickly. We gotta do There we go, a little bit more gasoline and and uh, wood. Sounds like we got a spider zombie. Yep, spider zombie. Come here. Get off me. Some I really don't like these spider zombies sometimes. They give me they'll, they'll come over and smack me around who uh, will come over and smack me without even playing their swing animation. There we go. Uh, let's try to take care of the old dog here. There we go. We took care of him. He's uh we gotta be careful I guess. Hub cities do spawn in dogs, but Kind of really found that it's not a, not really a big old, uh, it's not like the wasteland. They don't spawn in as much. <sighs> Let's, pardon me there. A bit more wood out of that one. And nail gun parts and, and some extra repair kits. Well, um... Let's just see. Yeah, I'll just scrap those shotgun slugs. Don't get me wrong, shotgun slugs uh, can do a lot of damage, but... Like, they can do a lot of damage. My sledgehammer will scrap for... will scrap for, um... Scrap it out for iron. Don't really have all that much, but... I don't really run sledgehammers all that often. Rebar frames and all that. We'll just uh, grab that in a second once the 
once the old crafting queue gets uh, you know, freed up for one slot. And that's all done. So aside from the save here, oh, pardon the zombies interrupting. There you go. Explosion. Apart from the zombies uh, uh, erupting in the safe, and we're just about done with uh, work except tools. I did check the pass, I guess, uh, in the local area to see how much a well, how much a loot. We'll see if there's a working set of tools in there. Not working set of tools, but we'll just. That's why it's being held up. It's trying to take care of glass for me. But uh, if it was, I meant a workbench. If it was a workbench in there, I would have gladly started looting that. Like passing gas can be a very good can be a very good looting area, but kind of one of those. It's like uh, I'll probably pick up some gas barrels so just for the sake of it later on, but. Once again, I'm going to go just kind of scout out a little bit more of this uh, city and we'll see what it's, um, what it's capable of. Well, YouTube all searching for loot. We got another cop here. Let's see what I can do to him. I want to make sure I just, like I say, just soften him up a little bit and then... There we go, big cops down. We got another cop here. I was just trying to thin out the horde of zombies a little bit. And let's take care of you. One more round in the head should do it for him. There we go, cops down. Oh, ah! Freaking Curly got me again. Curly got me again. This is why I say, like, you have to be careful of him on higher difficulties. The Blood Walker I'm talking about. I call him Curly. He's... He's very tanky, and he will... Well, it's like he's he has more of a health pool, but he does not proceed to. But he proceeds to have a a whole bunch of damage. Ah, uh, the only real downside to him is that he's slow. But YouTube, well, I I ain't giving up, and I'm I am so I am a little upset by that death, but. I'm going to proceed to run over to the to the hub city uh, and uh, get my stuff back. So I will catch up with you once I am back there. Well, YouTube, I am. Uh, <laughs> sorry, YouTube. I I just listened to. I'm just having El Drago. But uh, he's a uh, he said uh, have a little chat. I've read like. Three and a half kilometers over here, and I was like, I was starting to get bored. Uh, okay, there was a whole bunch of curlies. Yep. Uh, come here. Nope, no, no, no. Don't, don't stun me. That's the last thing I need with these guys. <sighs> All right. Let me just throw my stuff on. We still have some time left in the day. It's just that, that. That's really frustrated me for for trying to get some. You know, we still have the cops to loot, which is at least I'm happy that I at least took out the cops. Let's just say that. Um, we'll just I'll have to get away from old Bob. Come here. Nope, no, 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 no. You guys do not need to run after me like this. Well, I actually dropped the hay bales, so let's just take a little look-see here. With the... There we go. Recover my shotgun. Yeah, I thought I needed, like, a couple more grain alcohols as well, so... 
Cause, but the green alcohol buzz actually lasted me all the way till Hub City, which I'm pretty surprised by. Run over a spider zombie. Um, let's check the loot out. Okay, yeah, that was the cop. So, um, we'll drop the lid. We'll grab that up. And, well, we'll grab some, uh, which episode was that? <laughs> Sorry, guys, uh, uh, Drago's had not have a very good connection, He's so he's lagging a little bit behind. Yeah, you can see how cops have, uh, very good loot, so, and this should be another cop. Yes, you can see. I'll at least take your shotgun shells so they're good, sir. Um. Well. This is this is the worst part. Trying, trying to take care of loot and all this. And. And well, we're trying to do all this uh, junk. I don't know why I have that there. Well, at least try to. I'll tell you what, we can at least put a fl we can put the flashlight on to the uh, to a gun here. Um, that was if I had a. Well, actually, just back up from the zombies really quick. Yeah, after after that death, I'd say you because we're already chuck a block on. Don't know why I just repaired you, but. At least I'm you for the shotgun shells. Oh, uh, I'm trying just to play Ring Around the Rosie with these zombies, folks, so bear with me. There we go. Grab the flashlight and then we'll grab the other handgun, and because I would rather not uh, sacrifice all of this, but there we go. Handgun acquired, so I think we'll come back to this place for loot and another time and, you know, have our fun, so. I will meet those of you on YouTube at back at hometown and hopefully safely back in the base. Okay, YouTube, I'm back at town and well, I'm wondering something here because I okay, bear with me here. See this little rock formation? I remember hearing something about. Taz's stone axe, and I know what Taz's stone axe is. I remember him people saying about, like, if you don't know what Taz's stone axe is, it's basically a very special version of the stone axe where it does way more damage than a regular stone axe. I've seen that rock formation there. Now, keep, bear with me. I'm wondering. Because I thought I saw that same formation before. And I'm wondering to myself, do I have a couple... See, there it is again. That's the same formation. I wonder, could this be the... Do I have a couple potential of uh, Taz's stone axes here? Because those look like... Looking at this again, like, just to give you a look, a good look, I'm like, i like, huh, that rock, like, I saw that rock formation before, just looking at it. Does that not look the same as, as the, uh, as the other one we just, I just drove past? I wonder. I think it's worth a little investigating. So, YouTube, give me a, give me a quick moment while I go and... Throw some loot back in the. Well, go some. Go through the loot from Hub City over in. Over in uh, the base here, and we're gonna go check these out because I am really curious. So be back in a minute. Well, YouTube, I'm. I've gotten my stuff uh, taken care of uh, at the base, so we're gonna see if we can crack the mystery here. I wonder if this is a a Taz of Stone Axe location. I'm just curious. I'm like, what? 
Um, because I'm, I'm just a little bit curious here. This could just be a deformed rock formation here. But, it could very well be. I just want to take a, yo. Know, I very well could be just completely losing it, but I'm like... Yeah, I'm in, I'm in the plains biome, Drago. He's asking me if I'm in the right biome for this. It's like, I've never found a Taza stone axe before. It's like, I've heard they've spawned the plains biome. I've figured, I've seen these two rock formations in the same, well, basically the same area. And, well, you know, YouTube, if, the, if there's anything like a... If you know, like, you know, where, what these uh, locations look like, you try to, you know, let me know if I'm actually looking at the right rock formation, because I'm like... Because it really helps me. Dig a little bit lower. I'm like... I don't think there's anything here. I just thought I'd check this one out. Ah! Yeah. Uh, Drago was telling me that Taz's stone axe is in the, uh, is in the, is in the desert biome of cacti. So that's, so that's good to know. I'm going to dig up this other rock here, just to be absolutely sure. I just thought there was something a little bit... A little bit interesting here, like... I know the rocks can spawn in... Really... Can spawn in, uh... Like, really unusual. Oh! We got... Company here. Oh! We are not dying a second time in this episode. Not at the end here. I've had enough of this. Go away. But, um... Yeah, I was just, you know, give me a second while I clear out Curly here. It's just me trying to... Uh, trying to... You know, that, that should be a kind of like a little goal here. For myself, at least. Uh, try to get some... Try to get myself a Taza Stone Axe. It's like, it's not the most damaging thing in the game, but you know, for tools. But I figure we can at least go for it. No, Steve, <laughs> run away from me. No, sorry about this, guys. But uh, oh boy, go away. I don't think there's going to be anything under here, but I was going to break this down, but I'm going to run back to base and just do my thing, guys. So have a great day and take care.